As we've seen time and time again, woke SJW liberal feminist LGBT promoting Disney has been failing on all fronts in recent years. And here is just yet another example of that. In this case, uh, on July 4th, which should be one of their biggest attendance records, or their biggest attendance days, they actually had the lowest in a decade. On July 4th, okay? Get this, uh, check this out. This is on Inside the Magic. It says, Walt Disney World crowds vanish parks at their amphias in 10 years. On July 4th, which should have been one of their busiest days. It says in the articles, sorry, it says in the article, crowds uh, hit a significant low in Disney World yesterday despite July 4th traditionally bringing in one of the busiest times of the year. Yeah, because they pushed away families, which is who they're supposed to be um, basically catering to. In, in favor of a bunch of blue-haired, woke SJW weirdos on the internet. It says when you, uh, in the article, when you visit Walt Disney World, you know the lines are inevitable. While well, Genie Plus theoretically takes the edge off the worst wait times, peak season can lead to spending hours, uh, spending hours in line for the resort's most popular attractions. These periods come around the holidays, with Christmas, Thanksgiving, Memorial Day, and Fourth of July typically leading to Disney World's busiest time of the year. Well, hasn't happened this time. It says, however, Inside the Magic, as Inside the Magic previously reported, Disney World has been something of a traffic, of a traffic, sorry, have, has been something of a traffic decline in 2023, while Memorial Day weekend was usually packed like sardines. Uh, the kind of situation that the Magic Kingdom shared online showed a much emptier park than anticipated. Even Disney admitted that visitation is lower than usual. Disney Parks and Resorts Chairman Josh D. Amaro confirmed in May that Walt Disney World Resort is currently witnessing a moderation in demand after the pent up anticipation to revisit the parks once they reopen post COVID. Yeah, because again, they pushed away families in favor of a bunch of woke SJW blue haired weirdos on the internet. See, normal families are turning away from Disney. And that's also, and people are blaming it on the heat or blaming this and blaming that. That doesn't explain away the fact that Universal has had one of some of the best attendance records in quite a while. Why? Because they're actually catering to families. So, one, just another example of how woke liberal SJW Disney is failing on all fronts and how go woke, go broke is not just simply an empty slogan. It has much more meaning than a lot of these blue haired feminist SJW LGBT, you know, idiots on Twitter want to realize. So I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.